Hello guys, welcome to Professor DK and today we are going to cover a very interesting topic uh, which is cloud computing using Microsoft Azure. So if you go ahead and uh, type in their, uh, you know, the website URL azure.microsoft.com, you will be headed to this site wherein they tell you that you can create your free Microsoft Azure account today and you'll be given a 13,300 free credit for, you know, use in the next 30 days. So basically they, you know, want you to try out their uh, new platform and, uh, you know, try out their different services. That's why they are offering you 13,300 free credit at the beginning. So, you know, the word credit, you know, sounds a bit, uh, you know, uh, uh, fishy because, you know, you might think that uh, they might charge you later for, you know, the services that are using because what happens is when you create a new account, so they'll be asking you for your credit card information, which, you know, uh, you might feel is a bit scary because giving out uh, your credit card information at the beginning and uh, later if they you know snatch money from your account you will have no option because you will be using the services without your uh, you know knowledge so that might be scary but anyways i'm gonna solve all those doubts for you today and uh, we'll uh, you know solve all the frequently asked questions and uh, the things that people are scared of well, using, you know, these services, which are, uh, which come at a premium. So, you know what? Uh, so as they mentioned here, you need not pay anything at the end after this. So, and they say that the credit card information that they collect at the beginning is only for identity verification. And, uh, con considering that Microsoft is such a huge company, they will, uh, you know, not uh, charge you. And if they say whatever they say, you know, they keep up uh, to that. So no worries there. And so what can you do with your 13,300 credit? So basically you can have 13 virtual machines. Virtual machines are, you know, computers on the cloud, which provide, you know, uh, data computing capabilities. You can have 40 SQL databases, eight TVs of storage, you know, more like Google drive. You can, you know, build all your web, mobile and uh, API apps. You can also, you know, try machine learning, streaming analytics, which is basically if you have devices connected, uh, uh, in the you know connected to the internet uh, in internet of things you can you know have that data sent to the cloud and uh, microsoft azure has this you know service where it uh, you know uh, displays all this data in a very meaningful way and it's also very colorful so you know it uh, is very helpful in that manner as well and uh, what are the different services that microsoft azure has to offer is you know they have listed a couple of services here and uh, clicking each one of them you know you know tells you more about what each of them has to offer in detail so let's you know uh, check each one of these out in their uh, main website as well so once you have created your uh, uh, free account so you will be headed uh, to this you know you'll have this dashboard so this is portal.azure.com so this will uh, work only if you have created an account so once you are in this uh, you can see that the dashboard is you know well organized you know the typical microsoft windows style wherein everything is arranged in the form of tiles you can also go ahead and you know customize it uh, for you know uh, however you want to for quick access so this is the dashboard just for quick access about the different things which are currently running the work that you are currently doing so if you go ahead and uh, you know click on new so so new is basically you know to create a new resource so as you can see here under compute you know uh, it shows you what are the different things that it has to offer so you can basically have a windows or an ubuntu or you know uh, some some other you know uh, computer which runs a particular os on the cloud and you can have you know linux capabilities there you can always uh, do a virtual network as well you can have an application gateway so storage you know storage is basically more like a google drive so that you can have a backup of all your data and under web and mobile you can see you have web app you can you know develop a mobile app you can have a logic app all these you know there are different things as well which i have uh, not heard about but uh, you know web app is basically it allows you to create a server and uh, you know have an app communicate with it and uh, in under databases you have your SQL database and you also have a non-SQL database, which is your MongoDB. 
and it also supports uh, you know document db so um, mongo db and document db are you know databases which are uh, much better than sql because you know they allow you to you know store any type of uh, documents and under data analytics uh, you have uh, you know uh, different types of uh, data analytics you can have machine uh, learning services you can cognitive services and under artificial intelligence you can uh, uh, use the computer vision api for and face api etc for all your image processing projects you can have uh, you know internet of things which is your iot hub and here you can you know connect uh, uh, i think they uh, offer you know sdks for nine devices as of now which is your raspberry pi the intel edison etc so you can go ahead and check that out as well on their main website and uh, so these are the different things which come under your iot so here you know you can also monitor your data and these are the different uh, you know things uh, which i'll not be going into because i'm not you know that clear about it so anyway i'll i'll be showing you what you can do with the you know now suppose uh, you need to create a web app so you just need to you know create this new resource and uh, I'll tell you um, where exactly you will be charged out of those thirteen thousand three hundred uh, dollar credit uh, uh, rupees credit. So if you can see here, I've created it's under the subscription free trial. I've created new, and then I'm gonna pin this to dashboard as well. So I'm gonna uh, create this uh, uh, server. So if you see here, uh, uh, you have something called as an app service plan. So currently I'm using this, but you know suppose this is you know the free one so let let me open you know uh, one which is which was already deployed so i have this uh, server so i can uh, if you see this i have something called as a scale up and a scale out plan so if i click on uh, you know a uh, scale up so you can see that it offers you know different uh, you know the premium uh, and different pricing tiers so always make sure you select the free one under any category so if you are selecting the free service plan so what happens is even after the 30 days trial you will still have access to all those uh, you know the data or the different things that you had uh, worked on so that way your data remains uh, you know with you and it's not terminated and um, you know let's again go back to the dashboard so here you know you can have your web app as well so i'll be showing you uh, the you know uh, a web app which i deployed on azure so in the next tutorial i'll show you how you can develop uh, your own website in under 10 minutes this is only uh, a website with you know uh, four links and it you know displays certain amount of data you can work on it more but i'll be showing you how you can you know display uh, uh, data on this thing uh, without any you know programming uh, you know uh, prerequisites so i'll be showing you in the next video how you can do that in under 10 minutes so another important feature of microsoft azure is its uh, you know uh, feature where it allows you to you know uh, upload the code or deploy the code on to the server using different options so let me just show you that so if you click on the web service uh, that we just created so under deployment options it uh, you know uh, tells you about the different uh, uh, ways in which we can you know upload code so basically we have to ch uh, choose the source file so as you can see here you can you know deploy your code e either using microsoft Sh studio and then publishing it onto the server and you can also do it using your uh, onedrive and also if you have a local git repository you can always push it to the cloud or you know by using uh, your github so this uh, basically means that uh, all your code will be uploaded to github and your this uh, web app will be connected to that github account so whenever that changes it is automatically updated here then same thing applies for bitbucket as well which is uh, uh, you know a, a premium version of uh, bitbucket where they allow you to you know have uh, private repositories uh, so and then uh, you can have dropbox as well so these are the different uh, you know uh, ways in which you can upload the your uh, code onto your website and uh, run different services so this is another important aspect which you should note uh, about microsoft azure
so this is all about your azure and uh, you can also see uh, you know it tells you each day how much of your credit has been used if you are using uh, uh, you know a service as i told you before there are different pricing tiers so if you are using a different pricing tier so you will be charged so that's how your uh, this is all about your uh, microsoft azure so go ahead and create your account and uh, i'll teach you you know the different stuff that you can do here so in the next video i'll be teaching you how you can create uh, your own website in under 15 minutes and i think it will take you know maybe 10 minutes if i have everything installed but anyway we'll try to you know complete it in 15 minutes but i guarantee you that you will have a website which looks something like this so if you you know enjoyed this video and if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also you know i appreciate it if you uh, you want like uh, to you know want to join this like minded group so make sure you hit that subscribe button so thank you for watching meet you in the next video